Once upon a time, there were two friends named Wanda and Willie. They were walking through the forest. While walking, Willie would whittle a piece of white wood. And Wanda whistled a warm tune. But they both wondered what the world could bring for them. Willie wanted to work in a wood shop working wood. It is what he loved to do. Wanda wanted for what Willie wished, because when Willie worked wood, Wanda would watch him without him knowing. It is what she loved to do. They truly loved each other. One day, Willie, still wandering in the forest, wondered why he, a woodworker, wasn't working wood in a wood shop. When Willie went ahead and opened his very own wood shop, the wandering wood shop, Willie and Wanda teach children to work wood wherever they may be in this wonderful world. Now, when Willie and Wanda walk through the forest, Willie still whittles white wood and Wanda still whistles a warm tune. And instead of wondering how they will end up, they wonder how many wandering wood shops will come to be. The end. Okay, so here's the puppet, and his arms wave, his legs move, as I said. So here's what we'll need. Here's the parts and pieces that we'll need to put them all together. See his arms move, his legs move in two different spots, his hips and his knees. So we'll, we'll make all of that happen here today. So let's set him aside, and we'll go over the, the uh, pieces that we need. Uh, for his arms, legs, uh, we'll use these two pieces of triangular wood. They don't have to be triangles. They can be rectangles. A block of wood for the body. And that we'll use uh, appropriate to the arms and legs. A pencil. We'll use some uh, needle nose pliers. A small hammer. And we'll use that for these very small tacks. Uh, these small nails. We'll also need some wire that's stiff enough to hold everything in place, yet flexible enough to move with your fingers easily. We'll need some wood glue. And finally, we'll need some fishing line or string. Okay, I've got this... Uh, this other, this other puppet I've made earlier as a demonstration of where I'm getting the, the parts uh, for the body from. See the arms come from the first part, then the upper legs and the lower legs all come from uh, the parts of, of the triangular pieces as I'm laying out here. And you can see, so with a uh, simple saw, get your tape measure, a saw and a pencil, and we'll mark these sections. Uh, I make the arms about two inches, the upper legs about an inch and a half, and uh, the bottom of the legs about two inches. So you've got the arms and the bottom legs about two inches, and then about an inch and a half for the upper leg. So go ahead and mark two inches, two inches, and an inch and a half, and get yourself a hand saw. 
the pieces are a little small to be cutting with an electric saw and go ahead and cut those pieces. Okay, once you've got all those pieces cut and laid out, we're gonna get ready to drill them out here, the body, the arms, the legs. So get your pencil and mark the top of the knee or the, the top of the lower leg. Also mark the front of the upper legs. Now we're gonna go all the way through the upper legs, it's easier. We'll mark where our hip joint is, and we'll mark where we're going to make the holes uh, for our arms to attach to the body, uh, as well as we'll make a hole for the head and wire for the neck. We'll lay those all out. We'll get a screw gun or a drill with a very small drill bit, about the sixteenth of an inch, and drill all those spots we marked. Once all those spots are drilled out, uh, you'll be ready to start inserting the wire. And here's a wire here. We'll go over how to bend the wire and put everything together so that the joints move freely. So what you want to do to bend the wire and make sure that your, uh, your knee joints and your hip joints all move nice and easy is you're going to take, like I said, a flexible wire um, and needle nose pliers and you grab the very end, about an eighth of an inch down from the top of the wire, and then spin around one complete time. And that makes a, a complete loop of the wire, and then you want to squeeze it together. It kind of makes some, kind of like a teardrop shape, as you can see here. And you don't want to have any jagged edges sticking out that can catch on to the other wire. So uh, do that for the two lower legs. And we'll do that also, uh, we'll do a piece similar to that that'll go through the upper legs completely through. And then we'll do two that go into the lower body. Here it is here going through the upper leg completely with two loops at each end. And then uh, it'll connect to the body itself at the hip joint. And again, you want to adjust the wire so it doesn't catch and it moves freely. Um, and you mark and cut the pieces, holding them up. Uh, make, our, make sure that uh, everything's equally spaced and uh, your arms and everything move freely. And that's it. Now again, with the wire, you want to make sure that you leave enough space for everything to move freely. Uh, especially the upper legs. Now, once you've got everything uh, put together, what you're going to want to do is glue the wire into each of the holes. Once everything is spaced evenly and uh, is moving properly, you go ahead and get some wood glue and you want to glue those wires into the holes that you drill. So the arm sockets, the uh, lower legs, and uh, the uh, body sockets, all of the wire. And the head, I don't normally glue the head in because uh, I like the head to ha have some movement. I also like to be able to can have two faces, one on the front and one on the back, and spin that around as part of a character. Um, make sure everything's moving freely as it is here. The arms wave, arms move, legs, the head, everything's uh, man maneuvering as it should. So there's part one. Thanks for joining us.